and just backtracking to make certain I have everything I need. Yep, got all the royal jelly out of here. Head down out here and... Whee! That looks to be it. Last jars of royal jelly. Loot our last corpse. We're done. Thank goodness this dungeon could not have ended any sooner. Remember, before you leave, Featherfall. I don't think it's far enough that you actually take any damage, but I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Alright, we've done it! After about eight, nine-some videos, maybe even ten, I haven't kept an eye on how long I've been recording for, we have finally bested the wasp nest. Yay! I really don't know what the gray wasp or what the wasp wings do, but I have a feeling that they make for gray catalysts. But I could be wrong. They could also make yellow potions as well, uh, befitting of their yellow jacket nature. Give me a second to take a look. Nope, they only mix gray catalyst potions, which really doesn't entice me that much. So I'm probably going to just sell them off for money once I level up our dark elf here. I believe we got a couple of level ups coming after us. Oh yes, all the way up to level 8. So that's what we're doing for right now. We're heading back to Olivar, getting our food stores re resupplied. I don't want to dip into our emergency supply of green apples here, if at all possible. I should also head off to the right here, because this city over here, or this little suburb over here, is where you go to be able to hand in those wasp stingers. And we've got about a good, I'd say, 20, 30 wasp stingers on ourselves. Which should give us, I would imagine, about 15,000 gold pieces, maybe a little bit more. Cast. Jump! It's nice for being able to cross small bodies of water like that. I think it was this person? Yes, wasp stingers. And this man pays you for the good stuff. Fifteen thousand plus three thousand makes for eighteen thousand, so yeah, right on the money. Alright, I'm going to train up, level up our skills, and whenever we come back, I'm going to off-screen a little bit of a trip to Dagger Wound Island so I can pick up Expert Mercantile for Rohani. Practice session just started. Excellent! 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 And there we have it. Skills. Well, yeah, let's get your merchant ability up. There we go. And I'll leave it like that for right now. So that way she'll be able to level up. I don't know. Good little bit of might to you, too. That way she'll be able to level up, disarm trap up to expertise levels. I'm so tempted to just stand around and get a little bit more experience from trying to kill off those ogres. But I think for right now, it's a lot better of an idea for me to off screen the leveling up to. Or the increase in our skill from expert merch or from play merchant to expert merchant. 
Let me also see one thing real quick. Trainers. I'm looking for the expert disarm trap trainer. I'm pretty certain that that's also on Dagger Wound Island. If it is, I might just head out to the ogre's outpost and then deal with them. And then come back after I've got expert disarm trap as well to save myself a trip. Master Perception, Meditation, Bodybuilding, Repair Item, Master Merchant, Identify Item, Racial Abilities, ah, here we are, yep, Expert Disarm Trap from his home on Dagger Wound Islands. Alright, it looks like I am going to be instead taking care of business here, I'm going to just repair my weapons and armor. And I'm not going to off-screen a trip to Dagger Wound just yet. She still needs one more level. How can I help you today? Uh, this is the armory. Lower class. How impolite. Heh. <laughs> Let's see. Bodybuilding, repair item. We've already got repair item up to the point where it needs to be. I... don't know. Skill increases protection off with blade armor, blah blah. Point building expert. I kind of want to get her skill up to mastery of that, but I also want to get her learning ability up a little. So you know what? I'm going to get her learning up just a tiny bit, so that way she gets a little bit more extra XP from monsters. It might be a little bit wasted SP-wise, but whatever. Get his skill up to expert level there. And meditation. Nuts. Always like one skill point short of my goal. Oh well. <clears throat> shield mastery. Could get shield up to that. Uh, but I should be worried more about spirit magic. And body magic, of course. Mastery. Doo -doo -doo. I'm just going to get his axe expertise up as well. So that way he can deal a ton of damage. And with her, I guess just chain. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh, another level should not matter so much because in order to level up this, I believe I only need two plus three makes for five. Yeah, I get five one in one level, so I'll have enough to get disarm trap proper. Thank goodness. We carry only the finest. I don't appreciate your wasting my time. No manners. Forgot to cast glamour on my character. <laughs> Whoops. Not that it matters so much anyways. Most of the weapons you find inside of that place are just junk. I can't identify it. No space. It's worthless. I don't have the space. And that's what they're going to say a lot. We about. carry only the finest. I have no idea. Let's see. And this off to her. This off to her. This off to her. And this off to her. I just don't know. It's worthless. And we'll sell that as well. I have no idea. We carry only the finest. I'm just doing this to clear out the room, and besides daggers and weapons, they really don't sell for that much, so I'm not missing out on, the, on hardly anything. We carry only the finest. Orange's intellect, that goes to Devlin. Ooh, I think he got an SB boost out of it, too. Alright. That is that for now, folks. I'll stop recording here, take a look at it in playback. And if this works, off to YouTube land it goes. See you all later.